Today we're checking out South Park Spooky Fish. Listen, if you want to check out my reaction to the entire episode, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. Y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. I wonder why Carmen wasn't in school today. He probably just ditched to avoid that spelling test. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> a nice costume, dude. Who are you supposed to be, Luke Perry? Carmen, how come you weren't in school today? Did you eat too many pork rinds last night? <laughs> 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 hey guys, you're so funny. No matter how I'm feeling, I can always count on you guys to lighten me up. What? I had to stay home today because my mother wasn't feeling well. She has the flu, and I wanted to take care of the house so she could stay in bed. I just wanted to catch you guys to see if we were assigned any homework tonight. What the hell are you talking about, Cartman? Stop screwing around, dude. We're all gonna go meet at the store later to buy pumpkins to carve. Oh, then we can enter the carving contest. I'll run home and get money from Mother. Do you guys need some, too? Bro, why is he acting like that? Why is... First of all, why does Cartman have a goatee and then why is he why is he being so nice nah he's definitely being weird he's not being himself hello stanley remember me hi aunt flo now stanley aunt flo only visits once a month be nice say hey, stanley i brought you and shelly presents wow really hey i love aunt flo oh damn bro <laughs> he, he changed up real quick you feel me okay shelly this one's for you <laughs> It's a television CD player surround sound home theater. That's wow! Crazy. What do you say, Shelly? Thank you, Aunt Flo. Okay, Stanley, your turn. Your very own fish. What do you say, Stanley? Now I see why his energy was like that, bro, when he first walked in. How the hell did his sister get this? Big ass system, TV, music, audio, dope. My man gets a fish, a goldfish at that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think he likes you. Come on, Shelly, let's hook up your home theater. Okay. That's crazy. How do you like your theater. fish, Stanley? I don't like it. It's spooky. Oh, now what's spooky about a cute little goldfish? Go put him in your room. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Damn it. Language. Where have you been, dude? Dude, my mom's having her monthly visitor. Aunt Flo? Yeah, every time she shows up, my mom turns into a total... Where's Carmen? <laughs> it just hit me, bro. Monthly visitor, Aunt Flo. Her period, bro. Hey, Carmen, did you bring us money from your mom? <laughs> yeah, right. You guys can kiss my black ass. <laughs> you said you money, Carmen, man. You guys are hella stupid. If I had money, I wouldn't give it to you, assholes. All right, so now we got now we got Cartman back to being his normal self. Well, at least he's back to normal. Yeah, but we can't get a pumpkin, so we can't enter the carving contest. It's okay. Kenny said he'd get one. Oh, how's Kenny gonna get one? He's hella poor. Why do you keep saying hella fat? Cause I'm hella cool. That's why. That's <laughs> cool. You guys are just hella jealous. <laughs> Good night, Stanley. We'll uh, see you in the morning. Can you leave the light on, Dad? Well, it has to be off, or your aunt Flo will complain about wasting electricity. I wish Aunt Flo didn't have to visit now. Yeah, me too. But she only visits your mom for five days or so. I'll be out sleeping on the couch. Damn. <sighs> it's a great idea. I like that. Hi there, folks. This is a heck of a storm out now. Thought maybe you could use some provisions. There's some candles and food in there. It ain't much, but it should get you through the night. Take care, folks. I've got other houses to get to. Kenny, wasn't that your fat, racist, foul mouth friend, Eric Cartman? Right. Mm -hmm. So, what is he having? Like a like a bipolar, split personality kind of thing? He had the goatee, and then he was being nice. But when he appeared without the goatee, he was back to being regular Cartman. You feel me? He was. I'm not gonna look. <laughs> Stop looking at him. I'm just seeing things. Ah! 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 Whoa! Hold on, 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 hold ah! on. He went from being all the way on the on the uh, on the nightstand, right, to being on his bed. Now I would have freaked out too. 
Stanley, settle down. Look, he's gonna kill me, Mom. Is there a problem? Oh, no problem, Aunt Flo. Do you not like your goldfish? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bad aunt. There, there, Aunt Flo. Stanley loves his goldfish. <laughs> Bro, can't he just dump him in the toilet? You know what I mean? Just get it over with? Stanley, I'm in no mood for this. Not when your Aunt Flo is in town. Oh, look, you woke your sister up. Oh. Go to sleep, Stanley. <laughs> ah! Ah! Bro, that is a dead oh, body. Right, I have had enough... Oh, Stanley, what have you done, baby? What no! have you done? Mom, I was just sleeping, and the next thing I knew... Shh, it's okay, honey. It's okay. I've got such a good boy. Mommy's little angel. Oh, Don't my worry, God. Mommy's going to hide the body. Nobody's going to take my baby away. I've got such a handsome boy. Such this has got to be a movie reference, bro. And if it's not, it needs to be made into a movie. So the fish is able to move telepathically, right? My man's went from the nightstand to the bed. I think I'm using the right word. He can understand and write English. And the fish is also a serial. Okay. Nah, Mom Dukes is an OG though, bro. Like, she's a real one. She's making sure the body is taken care of so that Stan doesn't do any time. Does this fish ever sleep? Mom! What is it, honey? <gasps> Insert DJ Khaled's voice. Another one. Bro, what the f is happening right now? My baby's again no mom what are we gonna do baby what are we gonna do i've got such a handsome boy such a good boy <laughs> this is nuts it's about time kenny did you bring the pumpkin uh -huh. well where is it what the hell is that <laughs> it's all you could afford whoever heard of a squash or lantern kenny that's hella stupid squash stop saying hella carmen <laughs> how are we gonna win the contest with a squash i have to get another knife this one's hella dull Kyle, will you shut up? Kyle, you know how some people are like and stuff? Yeah? Do you think animals can be too? I don't know. Oh, great. He's got that stupid beard on again. No, Kenny, you should cut with the blade facing away from you. You're going to hurt yourself. There you go. Isn't this fun, you guys? Carving pumpkins for Halloween. So let's say that Cartman is definitely having multiple personality episodes or bipolar episodes, whatever the case may be. Is he the one that's responsible for the bodies that Sharon has been burying in the yard? Hey, dudes. Man, it's hella cold out here. Carmen? <laughs> Did you expect my poppage? Guy, you're hella lame. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm just standing here. Jesus, mellow out, you guys. You can't be standing there, Cartman. Why the hell not? Because you're standing over there. Ah, Whoa! Well, you don't see this every day. I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's like I'm looking in a mirror. Dude, this is hella weird. Da, 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 da. Oh, Officer Barbrady, wh what a surprise. What can I do for you? Well, there's been a report of a few missing people. Is that so? Yeah, no biggie, but I was wondering if you'd seen any of them. <laughs> I've never seen any of those men, Officer Barbrady. No, I didn't think so. Mind if I look around the backyard, though? Oh! Why would you want to do that? Well, this all looks in more tennis, anyone? <laughs> Nobody's going to take my baby away from me. Nobody. Oh. Nah, bro. W, mom, bro. She is making sure that Stan is taken care of, that he's not going to jail, none of that. Even if it means getting her hands dirty. W Sharon, bro. Today I've got spooky spaghetti with freaky french fries. Uh, chef? Or haunted hash browns. Chef. And a creepy cookie and monstrous milk. Chef. And a terrifying napkin. Chef. What? We have problems. Well, what's the first problem? Chef, I have a goldfish that keeps people. Oh. Well, uh, don't worry, Stan. I'm sure it'll work out. Damn, so Sharon is trying to, like, protect Stan at all costs, but Stan is, like, telling people what's going on. So they're not working together. Now, what's the other problem? Oh, no. Oh, dear God, no! And then I showed up at the bus stop, and this son of a is 
standing there. I'm sorry. I've caused so much trouble. This is all very strange to me, too. All right, so I just caused something. Y'all see the split right here? Like, right in between both Cartmans? Cartmans? That happened at the bus stop when they saw each other, and it's happening again. What is that? Like a glitch? I've caused so much trouble. This is all very strange to me, too. Exactly. What do you remember? Well, I was just standing around, and Stan and Kyle were being really mean as usual, and Kenny had just bought a new car. Of course. That's it. What? Don't you see, children? This Cartman is from an evil parallel universe where ah, everything exists. Ah, okay, okay. Opposite. That's what I thought. He's my evil twin? But he doesn't even look that much like me. He's all fat and stuff. He's hella lying. <laughs> Please stop saying that word. Of course. My pet goldfish must be from the evil opposite universe, too. Oh, hello, boys. I'm Stans and Flo. Whoa, what's wrong with your head? Why are you shaking like that? Dude, that's not cool. She's got Parkinson's disease. All right, <laughs> 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 Fuck these kids, bro. Like, Carmen has the audacity to sit on her lab. Hey guys, you don't even have to put a quarter in her. Carmen, ugh, this is hella cool. Oh Ed my Ford, where God. did you get this goldfish? No, oh, I got it from the pet store, Stanley. I believe it was called the Indian Burial Ground Pet Store just outside of town. Where? I know I have the address written down somewhere. Dude, are you sure that fish is a It seemed like a normal fish to me. Just help me take it back. Come on. Did you find the address, Aunt Flo? Aunt Flo! Oh, Stanley, no. Not Aunt Flo. It was the fish. Oh, what a good baby. What a good son I have. Wow. She's like trying to convince herself that Stan's a good kid. She's been doing that this whole time. But look, I was getting ready to suggest that maybe it was Aunt Flo that was doing the uh, deleting of people. But this right here proves my theory was wrong. Aunt Flo isn't from South Park. The pet store could be anywhere between here and Denver. Well, we better get working. Carmen, you go home and call all the pet stores in the Holy corner. crap. Screw you. It's all taken care of, Stanley. Oh! I've got such a good boy. Such a handsome boy. Bro, none of the kids even noticed that Kenny was getting You guys, I found the pet store. Come on, let's go. Mom, I know you think I did all this, but I'm going to prove to you it was this. I believe you, sweetheart. Run from him, boys. Run and don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I thought, I thought she was riding with homie all the way, bro, but... She warned the kids, you feel me? Damn it! What? That's the ninth return I've had this week. Hmm. What's wrong with it? Oh, let me guess. It a bunch of people, right? Yeah, dude. Oh. Damn it, just like all the other returns. Well, there was an Indian burial ground here before I bought it. So you just oh built your store on top of Indian God. burial ground? Oh, hell no. First, I dug up all the bodies, pissed on them, and then buried them again upside down. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. I was drunk. We think that when you did that, you opened up a doorway to an evil parallel universe. I've been wondering what the hell this was. Literally a door? Hello, Mr. Marsh. Top of the evening to you. Okay, boy then. Yo, Randy's a real one, bro. Like, he doesn't ask any questions. He didn't interact, you feel me, at all. Just looked at him and then went about his business. Sharon? Yes, hon? There's a policeman being held prisoner in our basement. Why'd you take his pants off? Oh. Sh Sharon, why'd you take his pants off? Oh, Randy, I just don't know what to do anymore. What is it? I just, I can't believe that Aunt Flo is gone, that she won't be visiting me ever again. Nah, nah, nah. We are not about to play the victim card and just switch up like that. Randy asked you a specific question, and we're all waiting for that answer, bro. Why did you take homie's pants off? I mean, you got to answer that, bro. Oh, well... Don't think of it as an end. Think of it as a new beginning. Now, could you fill me in on the dead bodies and captive policemen stuff real quick? Yo, my man's just a sucker. He just, he just let it go. He ain't even asking about the pants again. Listen, friend, you can't sell people pets like this. You have to have a sign that says, Morning, these fish are from an evil parallel universe. Now, it's not our fault you disrespected the bodies of this land's native peoples. But by golly, you're gonna take this fish back. All right, you win. Wow, thanks, evil Cartman. And nah, I think I think y'all got the good Cartman, bro. Evil Cartman is regular Cartman. What the? He was here. Cartman was just here. Who are you? We're looking for Cartman. The trail ended here. Where is he? <laughs> I don't know who you mean. Maybe this will jar your memory. <laughs> oh no! Stop. You don't know what you're doing. He's letting Who's them lose.
that sound where is that from the justice league super friends damn it sounds so familiar bro but i'm drawing a blank sign off in the comments let's get it you know evil cartman i like you a lot better than our cartman yeah you're cool and you don't say hella eh thank you guys i certainly like you a lot more than in my evil parallel universe oh, good puppy. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> poor guy but bro i was gonna say right i was gonna say in this cartman's universe he's the nice one and his friends are the jerks. In this universe, they're all kind of jerks, but Cartman is the main one. You know what I mean? Aha! Uh -huh. There you are, Cartman. <laughs> nice costume, you guys. You spent about a buck fifty on those. We're here to take you back, goody two shoes. Oh, I've got a better idea. Why don't you two go f yourselves? Hey, what's wrong with you, Cartman? What's wrong with me? Let's see. Um, I hate you guys. You're hella stupid. Come on, Mr. Wholesome. We're taking you back to our universe. Don't touch me. What the hell's going on? Cartman never hits us. All right, just stand there, Cartman. This oh gentrification gun will send you back to our universe. Oh, wait, you guys are from the evil parallel universe? Yes. Oh, it's about friggin' time you showed up. You don't want me, you want that imposter, Cartman. Come on, I'll show you. They weren't used to that behavior, bro. Like, Cartman was fighting back. He was giving them ish back. Whereas normally, the other Cartman probably just lets it slide, you feel me? And the winner is... Squash O Lantern by Stan Marsh, Kyle Brosovsky, and the evil Eric Cartman from a parallel universe! Yay! Hey. Hey. Now zap his hella ass back to your hella universe! Stop saying hella, Cartman! Thought you could get away from us, huh, Cartman? Please, leave him alone, butthole! Shut your trap, kid! Why don't you guys take our Cartman back? He's more like you anyways. Right. Hey, you backstab and sell out? It's time, Cartman. Prepare for gentrification. Well, goodbye, you guys. It's been fun. <laughs> Brother Stoneys. The Gengagation Gun. Get to the stage. Damn. Oh dear. It really was Stan's fish that those people. Oh, she wouldn't have I just caught that. Give me that gun, kid. Up yours, evil twin. No! Ah! All right, now you just gotta send this bozo through and the whole mess will be over with. Sorry, Carmen. We like evil Carmen better. See ya. Now they don't know who's who. Which one is the good Carmen? I am. Which one of you is the Carmen we can't stand? He is. We have to both go for the good of the world. That's the good one. That's the good one. No, How did you guys know? Our Carmen would never say anything like that. <laughs> you guys are hella stupid. I knew you were supposed to do it. <laughs> oh, no, dude, you tricked us, Carmen. I'm glad I did. You guys are hella stupid. You guys are hella lame. Yo, I'm not the only one that falls for Cartman. They did too. Let's go. Damn it. I'm sorry my wife held you captive, officer. She's been upset because her Aunt Flo isn't going to visit her anymore. Oh, I understand. I remember when my wife stopped getting her monthly visitor. Uh, do you want your pants back? No. Just leave me with my dignity. <laughs> okay, people, move along. Nothing to see here. You guys are my best friends. This was a crazy episode, bro. This was a crazy episode. Shout out in the comments below. Let me know what other Halloween themed episodes there are. And I get to them ASAP. Listen, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.